Russia has started painting silhouettes of Tu-95 strategic bombers on the ground at several military airfields, as a countermeasure to deceive Ukrainian drones. The army chiefs of India and France exchanged new lessons from Russia-Ukraine conflict, and also deepen cooperation with more exercises and sharing best practices. British firm BAE Systems has successfully demonstrated air launch of Stingray training torpedo from T-600 heavy lift UAV, a capability which is of great interest to the Indian Navy for anti-submarine operations. Goa Shipyard Limited has said, that even after the disruption due to the lockdown and the subsequent Ukraine-Russia conflict, the shipyard has managed to bring the two advanced Tulwar class guided missile frigates project back on track. Troops Comfort Limited has secured contracts worth 500 crore rupees for general stores items, special clothing and ballistic protection gears from the Indian Army. Hindustan Aeronautics and the Indian Air Force have started discussions to finalize a set of new improvements on the additional 100 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets, that is planned to start delivery from 2028 onwards. Talks are underway to determine if the infrared search and track system being developed for the Tejas Mark II program can be incorporated into the 100 additional Tejas Mark I fighter jets and also to replace several imported line-replaceable units with indigenous alternatives, including an indigenous nose cone for the 100 Tejas Mark 1A. After the monsoon season subsides on the eastern coast, the DRDO will start the first phase of its Arad's Extended Range Air Defense System program. The DRDO will first test the 150 km range ER SAM missile, that features active radio frequency and imaging infrared seeker for advanced target tracking and interception capabilities. The Indian Army has placed an order for 100 Vision 60 quadruped unmanned ground vehicle, which is a high endurance and all weather ground drone for use in a broad range of operations like remote inspection, intelligence surveillance reconnaissance, and distributed communications. 65% of components will be made in India by Aero Arak Private Limited, which is an Indian division of US based Ghost Robotics. The DRDO has placed an order for 30 very short-range air defense system missiles to Adani Defense, that will be used for final phase of development trials. The DRDO has already carried out two successful tests from a makeshift ground-based launcher, and chances are that the upcoming tests will be in an air-production-ready configuration. Once it's clears development trials, both production partners Adani Defense and Bharat Dynamics will be used to speed up production to fulfill large requirement of more than 5,000 missiles. The Indian Air Force has placed a 96 crore rupees order with Astra Microwave, to procure latest BNET airborne software defined radio system for its MiG-29 UPG fighter jets. The BNET is a modular multi-band multi-channel software defined radio with ultra-high capacity, that will mark a significant technological leap for the upgraded MiG-29 fighters. The Indian Air Force and the Indian Army have started a re-evaluation of procuring Tapas drone, and media reports indicate that the Tapas drone might see a significant reduction in orders, mainly due to technical challenges related to the drone's weight design limitations, and performance parameters. The Archer NG addresses the shortcomings of the Tapas drone, and there is a possibility that the Archer NG might become the preferred choice. Bharat Electronics Limited has unveiled a catapult-launched loitering munition, that is capable of performing autonomous and semi-autonomous missions. It has the capability to search and identify threats, lock on the target and finally destroying the target. Its payload capability allows switchable munitions for different types of armored targets, and also features mission abort capability. Today's top 3 comments. <laughs>